Another format of animating is referred to as rotoscoping. Now what rotoscoping is, is tracing video or film. By doing this, your animation has a very realistic feel, and you're also not going to be worrying about proportions. And it's a pretty good way to even study how movement works. To rotoscope in Toon Boom Studio, we're going to simply go to File, Import File, and we're going to find our file Rotoscope Fish. And at this point, we want to set the opacity value. And I'm going to leave it at the default of 50%, but you can raise or lower this. And I'll click OK. And it's bringing in our video file here. Now, when you import video, if it has sound, it's also going to bring that with it. And you don't really need that for rotoscoping. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the sound element. And I'm going to move my drawing layer right above the fish layer. Now, a good practice is to make sure that you're going to lock the fish layer so it doesn't actually move anywhere. So I'm going to right click on this layer and lock it. And we'll go to our drawing layer. And I'm going to turn off my grid here. And depending on what color the video is, you might want to pick a color to paint so you can actually see a little bit better. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with basic black here and use a pretty wide brush. So at this point, you can start tracing your frames. Now, you could actually do every single frame, or you could simply select every other frame and animate your rotoscoping on twos. And of course, if you're working with this, you want to make sure your onion skin is showing your previous drawings. And you can keep moving forward and animating the entire fish or the entire video. And once you're ready to export, you want to either turn off your rotoscope layer or simply delete it. Though it can be tedious, rotoscoping will give you a really beautiful, polished finish and a very realistic, smooth animation.